Welcome to the macOS Anti-Forensics Lab. Um, in this uh, lab experiment I will um, show you how you can um, use the Silent Eye uh, Signography tool for um, encoding and decoding a secret message. And the secret message is also encrypted, so it's uh, not um, easily detected by um, a forensics uh, examiner, but also it uh, because it's encrypted it can't be uh, easily uh, accessed. Here you see the silent eye tooling with drag and drop. And you go again to the finder and you see this these two JPEGs. We'll now use a crow JPEG. Uh, crows are uh, birds and uh, I like birds so that's why I use this um, uh, image. Uh, the, the image uh, is now drag and dropped into the sound eye. Here you see the crow. Um, now let's uh, encode this uh, image with a secret message. I'll write a message here and then I'll say this is a crow. Um, because we now also use uh, cryptography, uh, we'll use the type AES256 and we have to fill in a key, a cryptography key, so uh, we know it's encrypted. Uh, as key, we use uh, yeah, secret code. And there's also in the other box, secret code. And now we have for uh, this image, we see that we have a secret message. This is a row, and we have uh, a key, and uh, that's secret code. Um, you also see uh, here that there are also octets um, available. And uh, that says that uh, you, uh, you can use 4536 octets for the secret message, and there are still available 4522. So, there still are a lot of uh, octets available for filling in your secret message. For this part, options, uh, JPEG, header, and passphrase. Uh, uh, this experiment is not uh, um, applicable and destination is for this you can put in your own destination if you want the media's encoding format is JPEG as you already saw and uh, if it's necessary you can also do a BMP for it okay uh, now we we'll enable encryption we don't compress the data and we encode now the message, oh, sorry, the uh, secret message into the image file. File already exists, okay. This encryption, uh, sorry, this uh, uh, steganography uh, can take a while because of the encryption uh, involved. That's why you see this, um, this wheel uh, turning. Now it's uh, encode is uh, the message is encoded into the image file, and the message should be encrypted. Um, let's see on the property tab here. Uh, you can see uh, that the file path is that uh, image is now in Courtney Mac, and the crow is there. The format dimension is not readable. That's uh, uh, yeah disadvantage of this uh, tool that it's 
the properties are always not readable. Uh, the quality is not applicable. Uh, the capacity is uh, uh, for PMP or JPEG, but never mind. Uh, uh, the number of octets, and that's it. Um, okay, then we go to decode. Um, you see here uh, that uh, for decoding, you can you have to uh, also fill in the key. That was secret code. Also, you see it's getting green, so both uh, the secret codes filled in are, uh, are uh, similar, so that's okay. Uh, char set uh, UTF-8, okay. Uh, it, you encrypted the data, you didn't compress it, you didn't compress the data, and now you can decode this uh, message from the image file. Again, that takes uh, a while. As you can see, it's it's a, it's a really uh, function a functional tool. It's just drag and drop, and uh, the uh, the other functionality is uh, clear. Although you have to, of course, know a bit about the steganography. Uh, now you can see that uh, you have uh, a decode message, and that was the same message as we encoded. This is a crow. Uh, that uh, so this is um, so we encoded a secret message into an image file, the crow file, and with uh, the, the message this is a crow. And we also uh, encrypted it with uh, AES-256 cryptography. And later on we could also decode it uh, by using the key for cryptography and uh, also using um, yeah, the, an, an, uh, an extra tool, uh, SoundEye. That's it.